Okay, so let's get into the topic. I wanna share with you guys some of my opinion of what is coming at you with this is extended lockdown here in Israel. As you know, just a few days ago, or you might not know because you don't live in Israel, the president just extended the lockdown. And that's very interesting because Israel is on the list of the, the highest vaccinated population as well as a massive amount of new COVID cases. And this is what's happening around us. This is why we've had this lockdown extended. And what does that mean to you? Well, it means a few things and that's what I made this live stream or that's why I decided to hit the go live button. First of all, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button on any and all of my videos, leave your comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. So what does this lockdown mean for you? Well, the first thing it means is you have to have a savings account. You will want to have some additional income reserved. Why? Because, well, that's how things are. That's how these extended lockdowns work is they impact your finances. You'll have to deal with it. I'll have to deal with it. And uh, everybody does. So we need to make sure we have our savings accounts nice and swollen. In addition to having a swollen saving account, I would recommend that you go after a side hustle. If you've already got a job, go ahead and establish an additional stream of income because quite frankly, during these very volatile times, some people are losing their jobs. I hope you didn't lose yours, but some people are losing their jobs. So having a side hustle is extremely important. As well as, I'm not sure if you lost my last video, if you did watch it, well then you understand that you need to have a creative outlet during extended lockdowns. You gotta make sure that you're not holding too much inside, that you have all of the benefits of having a creative outlet or a multitude of them in order to get through these lockdown, you know, these lockdown periods. These are just a few things, but very important for you is to have a why. And the why is why you're alive. If you have a purpose, if you have a goal, you will have internal motivation and internal drive. And that's what I help people to find in their lives. You must have this sort of thing in order to go through this very up in the air feeling of lockdowns, especially extended lockdowns where you never know theoretically when it's gonna end. You've gotta have a reason why. Those are some of the things that you're gonna need during this lockdown. But here's an additional message for most of you watching this video. You are holding on to this idea that things are going to go back to the way they were. Oh, I can't wait till things go back to normal is what you might say. And my message for you is that things are never going to go back to the way they were. The world has changed. You are changed. And that's how time is supposed to work. So quit. Please let go of this dream you have of things going back to the way they were. That being said, you need to become a futurist. <clears throat> what is a futurist? <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, a futurist, which is what you have to become during an extended lockdown, is you've got to picture your own future, the future of your income, the future of your skills in the marketplace. What do you see happening around your marketplace? Because in the Israeli marketplace, we're seeing a drastic increase in technology usage. So if you're not very skilled in using the computer, this is a great time to, to look at that skill from a futuristic point of view, from a futurist point of view. That's what I want you to be. Think about the future. Is this skills or what are the skills you need to have in the future in order to make yourself valuable? What type of income are you going to have in the future? And basically, what are, what's the future of your family? I mean, you need to have these things pictured and visioned. You need to understand 
that the future is coming right at you and your family and perhaps you might be being less social than ever, less positive, watching more TV and you as a futurist during extended lockdowns with the mind state of someone looking towards the future, how could this situation impact your income, your skills and your family? And how can you make sure that the future looks bright? That's where you come in. You're responsible for that. Moving forward, because, well, things are never going to be the same as they were before, you are going to need to be adaptable, flexible. In Israel, from week to week, we're getting locked down, quarantined, unquarantined, vaccinated. It's all changing and shifting. You need to be, no matter whether you're in Israel or abroad, you need to be adaptable as a person. Stay flexible. Be like Bruce Lee said, be like water, right? In addition, and moving forward, you need to consider this concept that gyms are closed. Gyms are closed. If, if you're like me and you like physical fitness, well, then you need to take all of your physical activities that you used to do outside and you need to figure out a way to create a fitness regimen indoors because you do definitely want to keep those endorphins pumping, get, get those endorphin releases going. It's part of your happiness. So make sure you take and consider it from a futurist point of view, your physical activity. How are you gonna be physical more if you're inside more? Answer that question for yourself. It's very important. You also need to think creatively and you need to think outside of the box as far as your future is concerned, the potential, the possible directions it could go. Think creatively in order to paint that brighter future for yourself, thinking creatively. And so along those lines and what ultimately an extended lockdown means for you is you will need to learn and grow. No one is responsible for you learning and growing during a lockdown, during times like this. You need to learn and grow. I'm not responsible. You're not. You definitely. Well, are you? Are you? Yeah, you are. So let us all learn and grow during times like this. Other than that, just wanted to jump on and chop it up with you for a little bit. Um, see a question here from somebody from India. So I've got people all over the world. That's super nice. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click thumbs up and uh, I'll check in with you soon. Leave a comment below. I'll get back to you. Take care.